Hi, welcome back to the channel. I've been wanting to do a video for a while now covering uh, the velocity feature in Reason as well as the groove tool. So here's a quick intro for folks that haven't used that before. So if you want to dive into that a little, stay tuned. This is great. This is great. This is great. This is great. We all get down. 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 Okay, so I've put together a little example here of um, what I've called a treated and untreated lane of MIDI data. And by treated, I mean I've added some groove to it using the groove tool down here. And I've also played around with the velocity. So if you take a look at the um, untreated device here, got an ump nub drums device and in here I've got a few open hats and a variety of things here that uh, are unmuted for the moment let's take those off so I've got some toms hi-hats and claps and I've got exactly the same device on the treated one but there are a few things I've done to that just to spice it up a little so if you know about velocity, it's kind of indicating how hard something is hit, like a key. So when you hit a particular note, how hard it was played. Um, you do this to make it sort of humanise that percussion, if you like, so it doesn't sound too mechanical, because if everything's hitting at the same velocity, we, we kind of play around with that. And there's a few ways you can deal with that in reason. So let's take a look... Um, at the treated one here. So the way I've wired this up, I've just got a, re a red drum that's wired in. If I flip the rack around here using tab, I've just got the gate outs going to the gate ins one through eight on the umph club drum, same on both, just completely mirrored. One's treated but untreated. And um, what I've done then is done send pattern to track here on this particular instance of red drum and you can see down here you get the midi note lane data sent into the sequencer i've got this in a block here in reason if you've not used blocks before in reason i'll put a link up to a video i've done on that as well okay so let's have a listen to untreated so i'm going to unmute this on the ssl and just play this so you can see i've got some claps in there some open hi-hats and some toms okay so let's take a look at the uh, midi data here so quick tip here if you're using the tools here on the sequencer if you use q w e r t y u it's a quick way of selecting those rather than using the mouse so i'm going to use q to go to the selection tool and let's look at the untreated data here so here's the midi notes that i've sent through here that are firing the relevant pieces on untreated and you'll notice beneath this that this velocity lane and each one of these has a particular kind of bar if you like here and the the the, the darker color indicates the stronger when you when you're setting this level so here there is a level which goes from 0 to uh, 127 I believe and you can see it visually raising and lowering there Notice the colour changes as I do that. But you'll also notice, I'm just going to drop this back to uh, probably not zero. The default's 80, so that would have been a better, better call, wouldn't it? So select that and make it 80. And you can type, type this into here. I'm guessing here, because there's three on that particular uh, line there it's that's why the color difference is there but i'm not quite sure on that because on the individual ones it's just a single color it might be because it's selected actually ignore that i think it's just because i'd selected it yeah there you go if you select them they go dark but normally if you've got different velocity ranges set there the color will indicate the, the strength of the velocity so there's no treatment there at all so what i'm going to do is take a look at the treated 
line here now and you'll notice peaks and troughs going on here of all the different velocity values that are set here so like I said if you're using the pencil tool so you can either click on it here or press W and then you can draw in these to the particular values that you'd like it to be the way I tend to do it though is I just here by numerically changing an individual value just scroll down you can see the notes again there but another cool way of doing this to get more of a random feel to it is if you press F8 and get the tool window up here you can see there is this note velocity section if you highlight the clip within the block or in song mode whichever way you're working and you can set a percentage here of randomness here so if you hit apply here this is what happened when I hit this right so also if you use control and the windows key if you're a windows user and you're on the pencil tool which is W the shortcut key you can you get the sort of crosshair here and you can draw a line and then you'll get sort of a default value there which is 97 okay but again if I go back to the selection tool on Q select it here and hit apply you'll get this random set of velocity values for all these MIDI notes that are in that particular block I'm just going to control Z that twice to get back to where we were so that's obviously I've just done that on the hi-hats the toms and um, the claps I think it is in there you could separate these out and have individual channels for each I've just just to keep it simple I've just popped them all onto the same um, block here so that's F8 for the tool window note velocity and random so I'm going to close that block down so the other thing you can do as well is use the groove tool down here as well so if you look in here by expanding this you'll get this extra sort of bar at the bottom of the regroove mixer it's the official term for it um, you can adjust the timing and the feel of those individual note lanes in there right so what I tend to do is use this slide button here just to knock it back so many ticks so let's have a listen to the uh, uh, untreat, uh, sorry, the treated one this time so I'm going to leave the kick on and the treated one and you'll, you'll hopefully be able to hear the difference here so if I play this now the kick is just slightly back from the four on the floor but if I pop it up, if I take it to the extreme can hear the difference there right but I'm just knocking it back slightly where you can go forward to get more of a pace on it if you like tend to drop it between sort of 25 and 30 and the way you arm that for that particular midi lane is if you look in the sequencer here you have this drop down here so you can enable it and disable it if you enable it you can then pick between A through B one through eight so you've got 32 different settings if you like you could have within that regroove mixer and you notice i've armed it onto slide minus 25 which if we expand the groove tool again here you can see that's what that is on there you can save these individual ones if you want to do that you can disarm them here as well and things like that if you want to but again if we if we do the two without the kick side by side so let's just play the untreated one first you can hear an improvement in the treated one there so again I've used this before on not only percussion but also on some you know pianos or some synths just to get some variation in that velocity lane here rather than it just being sort of flat lining so again if you, if you do control on windows you can level those out there but again it's it's, it's kind of all to taste so again with that slide you can have increase it the slide by having a bit more energy in the track if you're just slowing things down for the groove you'd knock it back a few ticks and you get that nice where the clap just drops at the back of the the kick um, 
but again you just play around with that it's all to taste um, but hopefully that just explains a little about the velocity window and some of the things that you can do um, just to, to treat your percussion and some of the other elements that you build in your track just remember you know I would potentially split these out so I've got the clap on a particular lane and I'd probably use the groove to knock it back so many ticks without affecting the percussion because we're, we're we're also affecting the hi-hat and the toms that are in there as well I'd probably have those on separate lines but uh, separate midi lanes but um, again it's all to taste um, if you like this video please subscribe and take a look at some of the other content um, that I'm putting out at the moment thank you Damn, damn, damn.